It's Matt and Jackson from Flick Fanatics, back again, once again, unfortunately. I know, it's what you've all been dreading. We're here to review It Follows. Now. Wowza. Let's, uh, want to just get right into the synopsis? This is straight off of IMDb. After a young girl gets involved in a sexual confrontation, she's followed by an unknown force. And that's it. Straight to the point, I'd say. Yeah. If you don't know a whole lot about it, yeah, so you it's... don't have this, uh... You don't even really care where it comes from. Yeah, it, it, it just throws you right into the thick of the action, and then leaves you up to your own devices. It doesn't explain it. It is following, but you don't know what it is. You just know what it does. Um, it takes a lot of note from classic monster movies. Friday the 13th, um, Nightmare on Elm Street, things like that. When worlds collide, you know what I mean? It's pretty much just a monster movie. Um, it's not in depth, like Matt said, it doesn't just like explain everything for you, it leaves it all up to you. The music for this movie, oh. it uh, provided a ton of atmosphere. Mm -hmm. A lot of other horror movies resort to just uh, like a bam, mm -hmm. don't go around the corner, bam, and there's yeah. a scary thing. They uh, they take like a different approach to how it's filmed. And, oh and yeah. The technique of scaring someone. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. not jump scares, it's not like, oh, suddenly the monster's there. The thing with the with it, it walks in a straight line no matter what. And the key is it walks. It doesn't run at you. It doesn't, you know, jump towards you. It just walks in a straight line. So there's no opportunity for like a crazy jump scare. Um, there was one sort of kind of a jump scare in the second encounter um, that Jay had. Um, it is right in front of her, and it, it's it's pretty spooky. Like, you see it, you know, it's across the street, it's down the block, it's... It, it, it follows, and the title is perfectly fitting, I'd say. Yeah, you know, I feel like if they if they named it something else, it just wouldn't be the same movie. Mm -hmm. You know, if it was called, uh... Don't Get Caught, you know, it would yeah, be like a run, different kind of... some nonsense like that. Yeah, like, Get Away, you mm -hmm. know, um... Don't Get Caught. Don't Get Caught. So... Sequel. Yeah, who don't knows? Get, don't get, don't caught. get caught. The Reckoning. You didn't get a whole lot of character explanation. It was more of you just saw what characters do. Yeah. You're they don't, like, throw a whole lot of dialogue into the movie. No, it's it a pretty visual movie. You, you learn the plot and you learn all that stuff pretty, pretty much based on a few bits of dialogue and then a lot of just seeing it happen. Like, the premise is pretty easy to get. Not the explanation, again, that's not what the movie's about. It's not trying to, like, explain what this thing is. Yeah. It's just like, this is a monster, this is a group of people, and this is what happens. They don't need to bog it down with backstory or, like, developing the characters' relationships. To grasp the idea, though, that, like, other people can't see the monster, you know? Yeah. It's like only the person who has had it passed on to them yeah. can see the monster. So it's when they... When they're like, there it is, you know? Yeah, freaking out. And people are like, oh. Along with Jay being so paranoid and freaked out, it really, like, kind of makes you freaked out. Like, I know with myself, I was, like, second-guessing. It's like, is that someone walking towards the camera? Is that someone walking towards Jay? Can other people see that person? Like, the whole time, I was like... Yeah. Out of any score, um, I'd say... in the horror movie realm. 95% in the horror realm. It had pretty much everything. It was scary. It was suspenseful. It was sort of funny at times. It was really kind of touching and like kind of heartfelt at times. It was... When you're watching this movie, um, because of the way that there's these tracking shots and, and pans and and uh, zooms mm -hmm. uh, makes you look at the whole every the whole screen. You you kind of scan the whole screen yeah. constantly the whole movie. Yeah, exactly. Um, which is really cool. It's 
and and it's so visually pleasing that scanning every inch of the screen is it, it's nice it's not like tedious or labor intensive that is why i will be giving this movie the a um because in the end this movie is a very simple idea as far as the budget goes there's just a certain amount of scenes that would require a bit of a budget yeah but other than that the premise of it just causes you to have it and it may be whatever a human looks like you know and, yeah. and there's all these sorts of things that can happen so when you think about that this movie really didn't need to be this huge expensive no project not at end. all it was just had, had to be presented well and it was and at devices. the end you know it, it it just made me want to watch it again oh absolutely it's not necessarily a thinker it's a feeler honestly I would say it's a th it's a thinker. It's a it's a it's a thinker. I mean, it's a movie that makes you think a lot. Not complex thoughts. Like if you can put two and two together. More. Um, I mean, it leaves you guessing. Don't get me wrong, but like during the movie, it's like this is happening, and you know it's happening. When it's over, it's just like all of these thoughts come rushing in. Like what? What, when does this take place? Where did they go? Why were they there? Who was that? What did he do? Like all the, it leaves you thinking after. Thinking and guessing after the fact. Yeah. Because it really involves you. You're super involved. Because like Matt said, sometimes you, your fists clench up and your teeth start grinding without you even knowing. It's just so visceral and just it really, really strikes a chord, at least in me. Yeah, it's it's a praise train today, and... Uh, it really is. Even the train can't go fast enough. Oh, there's a cow in the way. Oh, got out just in time. Please go see it, honestly. It's kind of a funny story. It kind of is. Who's that guy? Is in it? <laughs> yeah, that about wraps it up. Thanks, everybody. Um, make sure you... Rate, comment, subscribe. Tell us what you thought of the movie. Tell us if you're going to see it, if you're not going to see it. Just, you know, first impressions, last impressions. Consider the comment section like your own diary. Dear Don't. Diary. Maybe start it with Dear Diary. Yeah, you, I think you should have to start it with Dear Diary. Because then when you start it that way, it's, you know, it's a safe place. It is a safe it's place. It's a safe place to write. Just express yourself. Yeah, just you know. let it flow, or it will follow.